Okay, you are welcome to this uh, brief demonstration and this is a uh, switch password recovery uh we are using cisco uh 3750 which is asking us for username so let's assume username is admin and we hit the enter key and probably the password is cisco and hit the enter key let's see if you accept that and it says authentication failed so how do we now gain access to the switch the only way in is to perform a password recovery so to begin password recovery we are going to disconnect the switch from power and then before we plug back the power cable we hold down the mode button that is located in the front panel of the switch uh, so let's do that now uh, now we've been able to interrupt the switch boot process um, as you can see here it says the system has been interrupted prior to initializing the flash file system and so we'll have a couple of options here is it that we do boot if i type boot and hit enter this switch will go ahead and boot but it wouldn't make sense because we still don't know what the username and password is so what we are going to do is to initialize the flash system so we're going to type flash underscore init this thing you see here flash underscore init that is flash initialization so that's the first command we are going to type and then once the file system has been initialized um, we could look at the directory of the flash and see what are the uh, file systems that we have so to see the uh, flash directory we can do the that is directory for short dir space flash there flash all right so you can see the different file systems we have in the flash so if you look at the file system here you see that this is c3750 ip services this is actually the operating system that the switch is running and uh, we see here we have config.txt and we also have a file here called vlan.dat when you create VLANs on a switch, like VLAN 10, sales, VLAN 11, marketing, the VLAN configuration information is stored in the switch in a file called VLAN.dat. You want to delete all your VLANs in a switch, you are going to delete the VLAN.dat file. Okay? But for the password, username and password that the switch is asking us for, is stored in a file called config.txt. So what we can do now is do a command, rename flash, colon, config.txt, flash, colon config dot uh, dot old, whatever you want to name it so just put down this command that i'm about to type if we are to boot into this switch it's going to ask us for username and password and the username and password are saved in a file called what config dot text so whenever we are putting into the switch the switch will consult config dot text to request for username and password now what we want to do is to deceive the switch we want to con the switch and gain our way into the switch without having to enter password so how do we do that that file called config.txt where the username and password are stored we are going to rename it to something else so when we are now trying to log into the switch the switch will be trying to look for that file so that it asks us for username and password and didn't see the file again to allow us to go in all right so we are renaming that file from config.txt to config to whatever you like you know i named it config.old here right so it means that when the switch did no longer see config.txt file what you see is config.old, you say, I don't know what this one is for. What I know is that my username and password is in the config.txt. And since I didn't see that file again, this guy should go in because I don't longer have username and password to ask for. Okay, so uh, we are going to hit the enter key. All right, so that file has been renamed. So if we do there flash, there flash, colon, and hit enter, you see that you no longer have a file called config.txt. Are you seeing the file system? So here, we used to have config.txt, right? Now, we come and use a rename command, and what we now have inside the switch is config.old. So the switch no longer seeing config.txt, which means it can no longer ask us for username and password. So what we can do now is tell the switch to boot. So we want to gain access to the switch, so we'll type boot, and we'll hit the enter key. So the switch is going to boot up now, but since username and password, which is contained in the config.txt, and the config.txt file is no longer there, I will going to have access to the switch without having to enter any username and password. Um, so let's just hold on for the switch to finish booting and then we'll finish up the process. The switch boots up now and is asking you if you'd like to enter the initial configuration dialog. Of course, we are going to say no. We are not going to enter. So type no and we'll hit the enter key. Now we are the user mode, right? So we are going to type enable and you see that we are in the privilege mode without the switch asking us for username and password privilege mode we are going to say rename which we are changing it from config.old back to the original name which is config.txt okay
we need to recover all the configuration that is made in the switch, including the username and password that we don't know, as well as the IP addressing and all the other parameters that are configured on the switch. In order to restore those config, we're going to do this command, copy flash colon config.txt space system colon running config. So whatever we have in the config.txt file will have to be exported or imported as it were back to the system running configuration. And once that is done, it asks us if we are sure we, are, we want to do this. We hit enter key to say we are sure. And look at this, 89,748 bytes of data has been copied back. And you can see here, the name of the switch here was switch, but then the name of the switch is back to the original name it has before, right? That is as a result of the copy flash config.txt system running configuration command. So what we have here is that the username and password, which we don't know what they are, is back. So in order not to run into that same issue, we need to get into the global mode, conf t, and here we can say enable secret, and we'll change the password of this guy to what we know. So we can say enable secret, and we use Cisco. All right, so in terms of username and password, we can say username, this user is a super user. You know, privilege level 15 is a super user. The person can do anything inside the switch, even levels of privilege. 15 is the highest in Cisco. Okay, so privilege uh, 15, and then we say the password that the person is going to use will be password of Cisco. And this is uh, what uh, we need to do to really um, ensure that we are able to gain access back into our switch by way of switch password recovery. And so we don't need to uh, forget to save these changes that were made to this box. So we need to do copy run start to save this config and hit enter key again to confirm that we are saving it. So what we do next is we'll try to reboot the box. And once we reboot the switch, the switch comes up again. It's going to ask us for username and password, which we now know what the username and password is because we have reset it ourselves. So username is admin and password is Cisco and all the config file that we are in that switch previously have been restored. And that is switch password recovery. To, to reboot the switch, you just type reload and hit enter. The switch is going to ask us to confirm. If we really want to reload, reload it, we say yes by hitting enter key again, and it's going to be rebooted. So when it comes back up, we're going to see if we'll be able to log in with the new username and password. It's asking for username and password. You remember, we set the username to admin, and um, we set the password to Cisco. So you can see, that we are inside. So then it asks us for password again, which is the privilege mode password, which is Cisco. So we are inside the uh, privilege mode. So we could do conf t and start to set up this. Uh, and those are the steps we can take to perform password recovery in Cisco switch, uh, Cisco Catalyst switches.